this is kind of how to dictate exactly how you want to use it, right? So if we go in and we take, for instance, we take a player that is in my squad that's like a, le a really low rated player. Um, so this is kind of just a tip that I... Uh, that I meant to cover yesterday, I do have a video coming out in it. So any of these players that we have here, take this center midfielder here, okay? He's got no player skills, right? Zero. He's got absolutely no player skills. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a short and sweet video today. We are going to be talking about the second new feature that they've added. So if you've already missed the first video or if you haven't watched the first video where I did it on the legacy transfer, check that out. And we also have another video on how to improve your or how to increase your slots on your team as well, which we'll show you just a quick video of that. So they do talk about adding new player skills to V2.5. And this is how the game defines it. It is using skill training programs to add a maximum of five additional skills to each of your players in your squad. Players will not be able to learn player skills they already possess. And they also note that players additional player skills learned by players cannot can be overwritten. So when you have the five that you want, you don't need to upload or increase anymore, right? But this is a lot more difficult than it seems, right? Because I did already give a player training point to Romario um, when I was streaming. And it do it was a duplicate one. He already had long range shot and it didn't actually go in. So it basically just does nothing. It just eats your player skill. So you do take a bit of a risk reward on it. So they've added a new tab, as you see here in Ronaldinho's tab. They've added this new tab called additional skills. So instead of just having player skills here that we see with Romario, we've already trained up Romario. We're going to be showing you that in this video. So Ronaldinho had no additional skills, but you can see there that Romario has got chip shot control, which is an additional skill that we added with V2.5's newest update and newest feature um, where they've added that, that you're able to add extra and extra five additional skills to the player profile or to the player card that you already want, right? So when we go down here, we're going to show you how to do it in real time. You pick the player that you want, you press square, you go down to skill training, as you see here on the player actions. So you just press square or X on the PC, uh, PC PS5 or PS4, it's square to bring up this action, uh, player actions buttons. It's the same button that you do to do your training. Obviously, we've got Romario maxed out and you've got your two new ones, skill training and legacy transfer. When you get to this page, it will ask you to perform training session. You'll see in the top right hand of the screen there that we have one trainer, right? So you're going to be getting these from login bonuses, from match day rewards, from login rewards, campaigns. You can also earn a few true scoring and, um, keeping a couple of clean sheets with the objectives once we perform this it is going to give us a random skill it can be anything it can be one that he already has so for example if we were to get off outside curler on this additional skill it would not duplicate it would literally just waste the card for us or waste the trainer for us it already happened to me with romario um which is a bit of a pity i think that it could have been a little bit more transparent because it obviously you are taking a gamble with it right the acquirable skills they're basically every single skill in the game you can possibly get so for example you could get blocker or interception with romario and you'll have to roll the dice again if you don't like that one so you have five chances at getting it but it's going to take a lot i think it's going to be interesting to see if you will be able to get these um skill trainers very you know will will they be accessible or not so that's very easy lads how to do it it's very simple and you don't need to overcomplicate it too much basically when you get to this page you will be able to add another four slots in any of these so yeah look it is going to be something that uh, will need to be balanced a little bit because if you get a player that has you know got blocker and interception as an amf he's going to be blocking balls all over the place right but you can have a maximum of 10 player skills and then another five additional skills so as you see here in our romario we have got our player skills, um, which are here. And then we've also got our additional skills, which we have here. So, all right, lads. So a few people were asking me on stream to do this live. So I actually did it. So this is just a more in-depth, thorough, how you do this uh, kind of skill legacy thing. So yeah, let me know if there's any questions and enjoy. So what we can actually do with this guy, right, is we can go into skill training and we can pick one, right? Because he doesn't have any player skills here, he is not going to be able to get a duplicated player skill. He doesn't have any player skills at all. So his additional skills are going to be pretty much identical um, to, or his additional skills are going to be, there's going to be no duplicates there in the player skills, so to speak, right? So he is nothing to duplicate. He's not to overwrite. There is nothing. So he is definitely going to get one of the skills. So all you do is basically put the skill on him. You get knuckle shot, right? So for knuckle shot, then... I can go back here. We're going to give that to one of our main players. So say, for example, if we wanted to give it to Romario, 
Okay, we'll check if Romario does have knuckle shot. He doesn't, okay? So we've got Romario there on first time shot, acrobatic finishing, long range shooting, and outside curler, right? But what we don't have is knuckle shot, but we do have chip shot control. So if I click on this and I go to legacy transfer, um, and then I put this guy in here, number additional skills, okay? I can confirm that and we can boost him into this and we're going to get this guy here, right? So it's going to cost us 263,000. But now because of that, we have got the knuckle shot additional skill. So if I had got a different skill, say I got blocker, say I got interception, say I got sliding tackle, instead of giving it to Romario, I could have given it to one of my defenders like Vieira. If I got blocker, I could have given it to Vieira. If I had got uh, fighting spirit, I could have given it to Foden or anybody that I wanted to, Pedri. So that means now that we have controlled exactly who we gave knuckle shot to because of the transfer uh, over and it only costs 260,000 GP. Whether that's worth it for you lads or not, it's up to you. I mean, so yeah, hopefully that answers uh, a good lot. Um, a good lot of it, but the GP is going to be the problem here because the reason why I kind of did it yesterday and took the risk was that um, the GP is cheaper when you do, you, there is no GP cost when you do it to the player. Like if you give a direct um, tra skill point to Messi, there's no cost. You know what I mean? You're just giving him an, ad an additional skill, but you're taking the risk that if I unlock double touch as an additional skill in the skill slot available here that I'm hovering over, I will not get that as an additional skill. It will just already be in my player skills. I'm going to show you one last time. Any of these cheap players, you can buy the cheapest player that you possibly uh, have or that you can afford or whatever. Any of these players here, they all have player skills. So we don't want to use a player that has an actual player skill. This guy has no player skills, right? He's a center back. We go in, we go to skill training, get the skill. We get one touch pass. That is a big one. That's huge. This Neymar, I don't think has it. This legend Neymar. He doesn't have one touch pass. So we could give it to him, right? So we're not going to give this one touch pass to anybody that already has the skill move, right? So we can give one touch pass to this Neymar. Neymar's already got 84 pass there. I don't think that that's going to make too much of a difference to his card. Um, I mean, we pretty much could give it to Neymar if we wanted to. Um... Somebody that I would probably use the whole time would be Neymar. So, yeah, I probably would give it to him or else I could give it... You can give it to anybody. I mean, we could give it to Romario as well, to, you know, to turn him into an absolute machine, right? But um, that's basically what you do. So when we click on Neymar here and we go to Legacy Transfer, this guy, Lalo Aguilar, he's got a skill, 257,000 GP. He's got the additional skill that we just unlocked there. We confirm it, and we're now going to be transferring that skill that we just gave to Lalo Aguilar over to Neymar. It's going to cost us another 257,000, but this Neymar now is going to have that additional skill. Does that make sense? So uh, 